A reading from the book of Zechariah, chapter 14. See, a day is coming for the Lord, when the plunder taken from you will be divided in your midst. For I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken and the houses looted, and the woman raped. Half of the city shall go into exile, but the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations, as when he fights on a day of battle. On that day, his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives, which lies before Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from east to west by a very wide valley, so that one half of the mount shall withdraw northward and the other half southward. And you shall flee by the valley of the Lord's mountain. For the valley between the mountains shall reach to Ezal, and you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of the Uzziah of Judah. Then the Lord my God will come, and all the holy ones with him. On that day there shall be either cold or frost, and there shall be continuous day, not day and not night, for at evening time there shall be light. On that day living waters shall flow out from Jerusalem half of them to the eastern sea and half of them to the western sea. It shall continue in summer as in winter. And the Lord will become king over all the earth. On that day the Lord will be one and his name one. The whole land shall be turned into a plain from Geba to Ramon south of Jerusalem. But Jerusalem shall remain aloof on its side from the gate of Benjamin to the place of the former gate to the corner gate and from the tower of Ananil to the king's winepresses. And it shall be inhabited, for never again shall it be doomed to destruction. Jerusalem shall abide in security. This shall be the plague with which the Lord will strike all the peoples that wage war against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall rot while they are still on their feet. Their eyes shall rot in their sockets, and their tongues shall rot in their mouths. On that day a great panic from the Lord shall fall on them, so that each will seize the hand of a neighbor, and the hand of the one will be raised against the hand of the other. Even Judah will fight at Jerusalem, and the wealth of all the surrounding nations shall be collected, gold, silver, and garments in great abundance. And a plague like this plague shall fall on the horses, the mules, the camels, the donkeys, and whatever animals may be in those camps. Then all who survive of the nations that have come against Jerusalem shall go up year after year to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the festival of booths. If any of the families of the earth do not go up to Jerusalem to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, there will be no rain upon them. And if the family of Egypt do not go up and present themselves then on them shall come the plague that the Lord inflicts on the nations that do not go up to kill the festival of goods. Such shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all the nations that do not go up to kill the festival of goods. On that day there shall be inscribed on the bells of the horses, Holy to the Lord, and the cooking pots in the house of the Lord shall be as holy as the bowls in front of the altar. And every cooking pot in Jerusalem and Judah shall be sacred to the Lord of hosts, so that all who sacrifice may come and use them to boil the flesh of the sacrifice. And there shall no longer be traders in the house of the Lord of hosts on that day. Oh,